y'all after 12 hours i want to sleep in everything but this is how the hair turned out i am really really pleased with it um i don't even know like if this was what i was going for but i really do like it like it's really different and let me show you the back the length and everything the hair is still really really soft and silky it's like I didn't even dye it and it's really really crazy because I thought the hair was gonna be wild the ends are light as well I don't know if you can tell but I really do think that I want to tone it and if I don't tone it I might go over with the brown color but then i don't want to do it because i don't want to lo lose these like highlighted parts in the inside okay you guys so i just went ahead and went up to sally's and picked up some toner um i basically had to go pick up everything that i needed because i didn't have any gloves and developer left so i picked up some 40 volume developer some 30 volume developer some gloves. I bought two of these because they were on like buy one get one free or something like that. Um, and these are reusable as well. Um, I also got three of the red gold corrector plus packets. They also got two toners. Now these toners are different colors. I got the T10 and the T18. Excuse my nails please because I'm trying to get my nails back healthy because I was wearing acrylic nails. Yeah, T12, T18. Um, the reason why I got two different colors is because um, they have different undertones. On the box of the Weather Color Charm, it tells you to use 20 volume developer. But I really wanted to like kick it up a notch and see if I could also lighten the hair while I'm actually toning it. Um, so I just went ahead and got the 40 volume. The reason why I got the Gold Corrector Plus is because I want to get out as much as that, um, as much as that gold and red color. So what I'm going to use is a bowl because I want to make sure the hair is going to be saturated in the toner. And I'm just going to leave it in it to sit. So basically, the ratio of this is one part toner, two parts developer. And um, since I have the gold correctors, I'm going to put two gold correctors in there as well. So, I'm just going to take the T18 just to make sure I shake it up. I'm also going to use a separate bowl just to mix it in. And don't forget your little mixing brush. So, let's just take it, pour it in there. It's sort of clear if you can see that let's put it in there and you're going to take the other toner Now, like I said, you don't have to use two different toners. You can use two T18s, two T10s, any color that you need, any color that you want. But I'm just using this one or well, these two. So I'm just going to pour this one in. This one is more yellow looking. So like I said, one part toner, two parts developer. So I'm going to put four um, bottles of developer in here. You don't have to use these if you don't want to but i'm just using them and they're pretty cheap so just use them if you want to the color of this is purple okay so i'm just gonna take my mixing brush and mix up the solution i hope you guys can kind of see let me show you this is what the solution looks like pretty much um looks really nasty but
jelly like kind of thick but really jelly like they say apply to child dry hair and develop for up to 30 minutes um, some people do 45 up to an hour it all depends on how light you want your hair to be It really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna start at the ends and just apply it everywhere. to just let this sit on there i'm probably going to cover it with a um plastic bag just so i can seal in some of that heat so i can process a little bit faster um and then i don't know how long i'm gonna leave it on there for but i'm gonna put my timer on my phone on 30 um minutes and then i want to check up on it if it's not done by then i'm gonna leave it on for additional 10 i mean 5 to 10 15 minutes maybe and you know, see how I like it. So many kisses started to you. Yeah, you probably thought that I was so with you. I know the last I just um flat iron the hair and I just decided to go ahead and curl this side just to see how the color will blend. And actually, after straightening the hair, I really think I like it. Like, I thought the hair was still gonna be red, but it's really not. It's like this light, um, sort of ashy golden blonde and a brown um because it has like highlights and lowlights as you can tell in the curls which i really love so i'm really loving these curls but it's like some parts were like a little patchy but the toner just evened it out so you really can't tell like um you know how patchy it was before i actually toned it so like in areas up here um I think it might have been on this side but you see like how it's really blonde up here but then it goes sort of darker down here that's what I mean by patchy and um yeah 
So, I basically showed you guys how to do these curls in my previous video. I think it was called um, Sexy Loose curls using the flat iron and the curling iron um, if you want to check that out I'll leave that somewhere over here or in the description box but I'm just going to quickly show you guys how I do this side this girl piece of hair and you could just curl them whatever way you want but I'm just curling it this way and just glide the flat iron down. And as you can see, you have a nice little curl right there. So basically what you do is just hold it at an angle because the angle is going to really um, make sure the curl has definition. You're going to flip that piece over, hold that, and just glide it down. And it may look like it's going to be straight, but it's really not. So... Excuse my leave out, please, because I'm actually about to take my braids out after I get done with this video. But I just wanted to come back and show you guys um, how the hair looks. See how you have like those different colors, like the extra, well not extra blonde, but it's like a honey blonde and a honey brown. I guess that's what I'm gonna call it, honey blonde and brown. All right, so I finally finished and this is what the hair looks like. Excuse this side because it just looks totally different from this side and I think I really like this side better, much better. My hair is really, really soft. I can glide my hands through it. I actually think I like this. That's how it looks on the front. This is the side, my left side. back hope you guys can see yeah well, that's pretty much how the hair looks the curls are like everywhere now but I'm fine with it So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video of me going through my fail sort of attempt to dye this hair or bleach it. It was kind of a struggle, but I really like the result. So, yeah, just thumbs up, comment below, and leave me video suggestions as well, and subscribe. So. Yeah, see you guys later. Bye. Y'all, I look so ratchet right now. Like, look at my closure. Like, look at this. This is not okay. This is not okay. <laughs> what is going on?